what's up you guys so your girl's back i did have to take a two month break but i want to let you guys know that i'm finally back doing videos again and i want to also thank all of you guys for all the love support the warm wishes the condolences the emails the phone messages the mail messages the letters that i've been getting in the mail i want to thank you guys all for that and just know that you know I'm just going to take things one day at a time. I haven't recorded videos in over two months um, due to my son's passing. And it's not that I'm nervous, but, you know, sometimes you got to get back into the swing of things. And I just want to make my son proud because he was always happy that I did YouTube videos. So that is the reason why I'm back. So the wig that I'm reviewing today is going to be by OMG Queen. Now, let me tell y'all, I've had this wig for over two months, and I really can't remember all of the specs of it, but it is a nice wig. It already came pre-colored. It's a bob. Um, also, I did pre-pluck some of the hairline, and I did bleach the knots in this unit. It is, I do believe, a 13 by 6 lace frontal. It has the combs by the temple and the comb in the nape, and along with that, there is an adjustable strap. Um, also, I wanted to show you guys some products that I've been trying out on some of the wigs that I have bleached already and styled already, but the hair texture of this is a light yakky, which is really pretty. I do think it's, it came out nice. All I did was um, flat iron it with the comb, but it does look like it needs to be bumped out again, so I'm probably gonna have to do that. But I've been trying out different products um, just to make the lace tint. I came across some products on YouTube and then also with Google search. So I did purchase one of these products on my own, which is the Taylor Crowns um, hair tinting or lace tinting. And I got all three colors. These are great products if you don't want to just tinted like with dyes and stuff you can just spritz this stuff on and they come in a variety of colors sometimes you have to build them sometimes you have to mix them you can always buy one or you can buy like a package deal so i did get three of these in the package deal um i purchased these like three months ago and the colors that i got were almond cafe and caramel so the caramel is a little bit closer to my skin tone but i ended up mixing it it was a little reddish brown and i still do like the outcome it does tint the lace but you do have to make sure that you bleach the knots and then you also use the purple shampoo just to get out any brassy tones and i was also contacted by a company who also specializes in lace tinting products as well which is this one here wig extensions now this one right here these bottles are a little bit smaller but um they also are very affordable i think i seen these online as well before prior to them reaching out to me so they did send me three colors they sent me the golden the mocha and the beige okay so the beige one i've been using a lot because it seems like it's a lot closer to my own skin tone or my scalp tone i don't have to mix the colors as i would with the taylor crowns but keep in mind taylor crown does have other colors besides the three that i have i think there's three more so they did add three new additions which is the ones that i purchased um but i do like this actual hair tinting it's a semi-permanent it has this great scent to it it kind of reminds me of like in between a floral and a tea scent it does tell you how to find the perfect color you three pumps five pumps eight pumps but the beige works really good for your girl so all you would basically need to do with those products is you could do it while it's dry or wet is just spritz this color on or this tint on and just allow it to dry so I'm just going to spray a little bit of the beige. So because. this is what the tint looks like prior. And as you see, it gives it some color. And instead of letting it air dry, I'm just going to blow dry it. And if it's not the color that you want, you can go ahead and spray it again. I think, like for me, the other colors are a little bit too dark. Definitely the mocha is too brown for my skin tone. So we're going to try the golden next. As you see, guys, once you blow dry the product, the color does become a little bit lighter, which is a good thing. So in case you think it's really dark, it will get lighter once you blow dry it. You gave it like a little bit more brown tint. You want to make sure that you put just enough and now look this looks perfect okay so let's go ahead with this 
wig tutorial because I haven't done one in like forever. So please excuse me if I have fallen off track. We're going to do this. All right, you guys. So as you see, it does come with the combs inside along with a nape. And I did put an elastic band in this unit. And I also did bleach the knots prior to this video if I forgot to mention that. And I also used the purple shampoo just to take out any brassy tones. So I know y'all guys see my nails. They grew out a lot and then they started breaking. But, you know, I was really trying to grow them out. But you know how it goes. So anyway, you want to take your scissors and cut off the lace. I always suggest not to cut it too close because you don't want any of the hairs to fall out. So just leave a tiny bit of lace on so that way you have wiggle room. You know, some of the hairs may fall out as you cut or brush, but, you know, don't cut too close onto the hairline. And I'm just going to take my rat tail comb and I'm going to part it above my ear so that way the flap or actually the lace or the wig itself does not fall over my ear. I do this because I want the wig to fit perfect. And as you guys know, these are standard sizes. This is the medium cap size. So sometimes it can be a little bit too big for each person's head. It may fall in a different position. So I always make sure to part it above my ear. So that way, if I do need to cut any excess lace off, the wig will fit comfortably as well as that as it will lay a lot flatter to my, my head and it'll give a more natural appearance. And I'm just going to take my small scissors, as you see right here, and I'm just going to cut that excess lace off. Now, you don't have to do this to every wig. I've noticed not every wig. Some wigs you have to cut more, some less, some none at all. So just take a comb and just measure it out. Make sure that it falls right above your ear. And then you can just go ahead and continue to cut the lace off. I kind of did it backwards. It really doesn't matter. You can either cut all the lace off first and then do the ears, or you can just do vice versa. But either way, make sure that it fits and fits well. Now this is just my signature thing. I do need some sideburns because it makes me feel like, you know, it's more natural. So I'm just gonna cut a little bit. And it's basically your preference. I don't really like them too long and I don't like it too thick. And I'm just gonna use my Got To Be Glam Force Gel. I do put it in a jar so that way it oxidizes. So when I'm ready to use it, it's not so runny. It becomes a lot thicker, which makes the holding down process a lot better. And it also will dry a lot easier. So I always put some in a jar and just sitting it in a jar in general will allow it to get a lot thicker. And I'm just going to repeat the steps on the opposite side. Now for a little bit of baby hairs because the hairline, I don't want it to look too sharp. You don't have to do this. This is an optional step. But I just put a little bit just to, you know, make it look like it's a little bit of wispy hairs. I call them wispy hairs. You can call them wispy hairs or baby hairs. Either way, you know, I just like to put just a little bit so that way you can't see the lace. And I always say to make sure that you have plenty of clips on hand because they will come in handy, especially when you're cutting or you're styling the hair. That way you don't get the hair glued or, you know, stuck to your hairline. And it also helps um, allow the style to come out a lot neater. So I always say make sure you have enough clips on hand. You can always get them at any local beauty supply store or check your local Dollar Tree. That's where I get mine from and they work out great. Now I did spray the Got To Be Glam Force hairspray onto my lace and I prefer this versus the Got To Be Free Spray because the Got To Be Glam Force actually will hold my wig down for like three to four days, you know, um, and that's if I put on a scarf at night. You don't have to blow dry because this product dries really quick, but if you don't have a blow dryer, just kind of spray in small areas. Don't spray the entire thing. And then I'm just going to go ahead and just style this baby up.
This wig was easy to apply. It's just a lace front. You know what I'm saying? Got a bleach the knots. Got a purple shampoo. And you just got to make it yours. So I'm going to be honest and tell you I was a little bit shaky. Um, I have not applied a wig in, geez, probably like almost three months. I haven't wore a wig in like two and a half months. So I got a little shaky. It's not that I lost my touch, but you know, when you don't do something for a long time, you kind of fall off maybe a little bit. So, you know, got to work on my touch a little bit again, you know, probably like within the next few videos, I'll be back to myself or somewhat back to myself, you know, especially with my hands, you know, my hand skills. But, you know, I just want to thank everybody. You definitely check out OMG Queen. I'll post all of their information below for you guys. Let me know what you think of this unit. Um, it's a nice length, you know, as I told you guys before, I don't do the bobs, but they have grown on me slightly and I do like them a lot. You know, this color is very pretty and the hair flow is gorgeous, you know. As long as you just flat iron it, I like to flat iron mine. Um, just the hot comb will take a little bit more time. But the cap fits snug. I do like the way the color came out in this unit. Maybe if I would have just used the beige by itself, it might have even looked a little bit more natural. But I don't think that it looks too bad. Um, I will definitely use this product again in some more upcoming videos. But, you know, check out OMG Queen. Let me know what you think. And once again, you guys, thank you for everything. Like, seriously, I love you all. I thank you so much for all the love, support, the condolences, just everything that you have, guys, that you guys have done. I have just, like, really been overwhelmed with love from you guys, which is a good thing. And I appreciate everything. And, you know, I'll be back. You know, I am back now. But just give me some time. I have a lot going on. So I'm just trying to get back in the swing of things. Because I feel like working is going to be able to help me, you know, grieve a lot better, you know, and get through this. So I want to keep myself busy. And plus, my son adored when I did YouTube. So I'm just going to continue doing this and try my best to make him proud along with everyone else. So check the info box. All the links and information will be down below for you guys. I love you. Stay diva and be delicious. And I'll see you guys in a soon to come video. Oh, 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 o